this next one, the do it yourself pitfall number five, I think is the biggest one because what it is, is if you do online forms, what, what are you missing out on? You're missing out on understanding what it means. You're missing out on sitting down and talking with somebody who is an expert, who understands estate planning and who will and should take the time to know what is your situation? What are your family dynamics? What are your concerns? What are your goals? What do you want to make sure that is accomplished? Sometimes I think that people do the online forms just because it makes them, they, they know they've got to do something. Um, but, you know, outlay of, you know, several thousand dollars, which it could be for estate planning, really isn't either in the budget or, you know, Sometimes we often find that the reason people have so much money is they never spent any. So they got a whole lot of money, but they really don't want to spend it. So, you know, it's completely understandable why people don't want to pay for professional services. And I think it's the people who have suffered the consequence of somebody not paying for professional services, but are more likely to say, please make sure you talk to an estate planning lawyer, get the right estate plan in place. Um, to make it easier for your family, for your beneficiaries when you're gone. So how do you know that you've missed out on estate planning strategies? You might not know ever. Um, you know, at ELG Estate Planning, at Elder Law Group, our expertise is not just in estate planning, but it's in asset protection. And asset protection, especially when it comes to long-term care costs and government benefits. So very few people understand uh, with any depth the area of practice that we do here, how you protect assets against long-term care costs so that you don't go broke, you know, paying for the nursing home. What, if people miss out on those kind of strategies, what happens, and we often have seen this, um, is that people just spend all their money, spend all their money until they're broke or spend it down until they're close to broke and they go, this is scary. I'm scared of running out of money. I think I should go see a lawyer. Yes, they should go see a lawyer, but they should go see a lawyer well in advance of that situation happening. So that's when I was mentioning, right? Retirees really aren't that appropriate for online estate planning. And that's because long-term care costs are the number one threat to their financial security see a lawyer in advance, uh, a Medicaid planning lawyer, an elder law attorney in advance, because if you do that, then what we will likely set up is wills with asset protection, which guarantees that at least 50%, up to 100% of this couple's assets will be protected on the death of the first spouse. What does that mean? That means that the surviving spouse will never be destitute. They will never go broke. So, those are the kind of uh, legal strategies that folks miss out on if they don't go see an attorney. Um, and what I just talked about was really specific to elder law. And if you are, especially if you are, you know, not in Washington in the state and you're out of state and you're going, well, who's the elder law attorney that I should speak with? Go to NALA.org, that's N-A-E-L-A.org nala.org and type in your location and look for uh, a nala attorney that's close to you now being a member of nala doesn't guarantee that the person you know is a great asset protection elder law attorney but it certainly is a qualification that you want to look for what else should you do you should find out what are their qualifications do their look at their online reviews look at information that they have on their website etc and then talk with them and when you're looking, especially if you're concerned about long-term care costs, you know, a lot of people say that they're elder law attorneys. There's nothing that prevents people from saying, hey, I'm an elder law attorney. So you need to ask the question, well, tell me, do you do Medicaid applications? And if they say no, then I would really question whether they understand the strategies needed in the state planning documents to protect assets and to, you know, so that uh, Medicaid eligibility is a possibility. Um, you know, so if you are going to hire an attorney, ask questions of whomever you are 
interested in hiring and make sure that they have depth of staff, depth of knowledge, and that they've got all the qualifications you need. Because just like online forms can lead to problems and mistakes, hiring the wrong lawyer can do that too. You really want somebody who's an expert in this area. Um, other, you know, online strategies that you're missing, there's a lot of them. Um, I mentioned that, you know, let's say you do a simple will, um, you know, the plan may have been better to do um, a transfer on death deed and avoid a probate and have a will as a backup, but do a transfer on death deed to avoid a probate. Um, maybe you do online planning that's a revocable living trust, or maybe you have a revocable living trust because everybody said, hey, that's a great way to avoid probate. Well, it might be appropriate or it might be a really bad idea. Will you know? Probably not until either there's a death or it's too late. You know, with revocable living trusts, you know, people don't understand that there has to be a deed put, you know, taking your house from your name, put it into the name of the trustee of the trust or that their bank accounts need to be retitled in the name of the trust. Or, you know, there's a lot of things that go into understanding a revocable living trust. So certainly you can find online forms for it. Um, but I think revocable living trusts are even more likely to um, not be successfully implemented through an online platform. When it comes to doing estate planning, you know, it's really interesting. Is there any need to do estate planning, you know? People can go through their whole lives and die and they never did an estate plan. And I think that's one of the reasons that sometimes people just don't do an estate plan because there's nothing that forces them to do it. So in that situation, what happens? Well, generally what happens is on their death, they have left a mess for whomever has to come clean up and take care of things. So usually people are more responsible than that. They kind of say, well, I don't want to you know make so many problems for my loved ones when i'm gone so what i'll do is i'll just do an online form is it going to work maybe maybe not it might work or it might leave a mess consulting with a general practitioner that's better than an online form but somebody that can do multiple areas of law i would really question whether they have the expertise to give you the right estate planning guidance. I know in our practice, um, you know, this is all we do is estate planning and elder law with a focus on Medicaid. We don't do all these other practice areas, you know, because I think that the day of the generalist really is, is over, it's gone. What's my recommendation? If nothing more, speak to an estate planning and elder law attorney. Tell them what your concerns are get their recommendations, then it's up to you. You can choose to hire them, pay their fees or not. You know, at least then you'll have more information. Um, we have people bring in their online forms, we review them and then we explain to them why, you know, that might not be the best uh, plan for them, but we are providing information. Then it's up to you, you can make the decision. Is it okay what you have or Will you have more peace of mind if you make some changes and put into place an estate plan that has been recommended for you for your situation to make things easier for you during your life, for your loved ones when you're gone, and also to make sure that all the assets are protected and will go where you want them to go and won't go to legal fees or be spent unnecessarily. So no surprise, I think that the biggest problem with online uh, planning is that you miss out on anybody um, you know, going over the planning with you. It's really not planning, it's documents. Estate planning really is the guidance and counsel that you get uh, from the attorney that you meet with. All right, so what's a takeaway? Yeah, online forms are very attractive because they're very inexpensive. Estate planning, cost money. It's really what's important to you. What do you want to leave for your legacy for your family? Whether or not, you know, you see an attorney or not, um, I do want to let you know that if you click on the link, you will be able to get, or we will send it to you for those who attended uh, via Zoom, an estate planning online checklist going over some of the things that we talked about. Uh, so that will help guide you. 
So click and download that form. And again, questions, we would be happy to help you here at ELG Estate Planning. Uh, our website is elgwa.com. Our phone number is 509-468-0551. Thank you everybody so much for joining me. I really appreciate it today. Thank you.